star map. Now we've got three different missions to choose from. We've got Dead Man's Port, Haven, and Zeal. I like Dead Man's Port personally. We still need to access the adjutant we retrieved from Tarsonis. Our old mercenary associate, Colonel Orlin, is an expert in Confederate code decryption. If our intel's right, he should still be based at the Merc Haven at Dead Man's Port. He's not very trustworthy, but he's our best bet of breaking that encryption. Let's go. We're gonna get the Vulture, actually. Fun fact, the, um... I, this was mentioned in one of the conversations with Tychus before, but Rainer used to ride around in a Vulture. They're a unit from StarCraft 1. They're like a fast hit-and-run type of thing. Very high damage against light units, and they can drop spider mines. They're quite cool. Um, we're not gonna use them much, but we're gonna give them a shot in this mission. Dead man's port. It's risky just waiting here with all these mercenaries around. Colonel Orland sure taking his time decrypting that adjutant for us. Yeah. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Incoming transmission. James, Orlan decrypted your adjutant, but he's planning to sell it to the Dominion. Must have been something exciting in there. He, he wants me to keep you off his back until they arrive. That's nice, Mira. But why are you telling me all this? Because I like you and Matthew better than him, of course. Match Orland's offer, and I will help you take him out instead. He's paying in minerals, so I'll give you the same deal. Done. Always a pleasure, Mira. Don't take too long now. If Orland comes up with the goods first, I will have to side with him. Oh, and um, say hello to Matthew for me. Ask him why he never calls. <laughs> gonna be hard to get minerals down there. We'll have to find salvage if we're gonna hire Mira before Orland does. You think she'll help Orland, sir? She's a mercenary. She'll help whoever pays the most. Here we go. What's going on? As you can see, we don't have a lot of minerals. Right, boys. We got a deal with Mira Han. Now let's get to work and get that adjutant back. So we're gonna have to mostly use get some salvage for this, uh, which means we're gonna go out exploring quite a bit. So let's make sure we can get some pyro. Have been stripping down ships here for years. Ah, scrap! It should be pretty easy to collect enough scrap to pay Mira off. Seventy-five. Also, there are relics everywhere, though, which is nice and handy. Um, let's build some. Well, let's start with the tech lab. Uh, we need to spend a little bit of minerals on these. But not too much, because we, we're being outpaced quite a bit. So we need to make sure we get enough troops to actually go out and explore. Ideally we get war pigs, possibly... Um, the other ones are going to be ready in time. We're going to get some war pigs, some medics, and we should be good for this. Um, these, however, are plenty fine. We'll have enough um, gas. That's not something we need to worry too much about. Well, let's build one. Make sure these are still building. Got medics, maybe. The doctor is in. Marine. Incoming now we've got some help coming. I left a little present out here for you and Matthew. I never got to give it to him last time you boys were here. Damn, Jimmy, are those vulture bikes? Good eye, Tigers. We can use them to lay mines around our base to hold off Orland. Which is, which is exactly what we're gonna do. See, together there are four of these, we have mines, we can drop spider mines all around this place. So if they actually try to come and attack us, they're in for a world hurt, like the Marauders say. We're now done with that though. This should give us a decent troop to go out exploring, especially once we add... Ah, damn it, still two minutes left. Uh, alright. Supply depots. Should get them off my back. Uh, there we go. And this should be enough to do some basic scouting. We can have a lot of salvage. Those shredders are constantly producing scrap we can salvage. We should check this area again later. You got it. Let's take out his. Um, ooh, kill his firebats in time. 
The beauty here is to be able to take out his workers, stop him from actually getting these minerals. Then we can end up using these. But most of this is going to be about just killing and taking salvage. The is about to be done. Got more salvage on the way here. He's at 2,000. We gotta hurry up. Look at all that scrap. And a Protoss Relic. Lovely. Gotta make sure we build enough SCVs for this. They do versus light 25, pretty big. Alright, we should cool it on the building now. We're gonna start saving up. We are catching. Oh, there's a Goliath up there. Should do okay as long as we have the medics and stuff. Good, good. What happened? Oh. I didn't even know what happened. I assume they just walked right into the... No! Vulture Man! We only have one Vulture left. We'll make more of these eventually, but... Ooh, I should, should be time for War Pigs. Yeah! War Pig Squad Assault! They're basically just Marines, so they speak like Marines, but you know. Oh man, look at all that scrap. Loving it. Like McDonald's. Kill him! Oh, come on, Ultraman! I think I accidentally clicked him around too much instead of attack moving him around. Need some triage? Kill dudes. Pick up stuff. Look at this. We're growing. Heading into 3,500 now. I'm gonna go down for this base. This generally ends up being a pretty quick mission since you're sort of under a little bit of a chase going on. Uh, if you take out all his bases before, I haven't actually done this, but I think... Oh, hello. That's oh, the Junker. If you take out all his bases before actually uh, getting the minerals, you end up winning by default, I think. Though, don't quote me on that one. I haven't actually done it. Let's see about this. War pigs, assault! Man. So I meant mostly in this uh, playthrough to not go full blast, nothing but... Marines and medics, but they're just so goddamn effective. You gotta make sure to you. Ooh, here we go. Look at these guys, man. They're extra super cool. Spartan Company. By the way, do you recognize this guy? They've designed the Spartan Company guys to look exactly like Dustin Browner. Oh, hello. So not cool. We're doing good on minerals. I'm gonna save for now. Hey, maybe you do repair that thing. No, run! Run, man! Run! No! Dustin! Dustin, he... He, he died for what he believed in. Um, let's grab some of you... Actually, this is the beauty of you can actually have movable command centers. I don't want to completely get rid of them. But soon enough, these are going to be completely gone. And then we can might as well move them over here. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just, um, load up some SCVs, and off you go. And then you, you're real sad, not really what's going on, but it's all good. There we go. Look at all this scrap. Oh, man, five, five, five. That's not, you know, yeah. This should be the last bit we need. Number two, Relic. Okay, wait for you to land. There you go. God damn it. Repair it! War pigs! I should have left some defense. That's basically my bad right there. Ah, there's the last Relic too. Um, just in case, I don't... I don't think it ends immediately. Man, this recipe is... First of all, this guy's brave. And these guys are stupid. Will I be able to save the compound? Uh, no, we won't be able to.
We can build another one. Okay, let's get this relic. And then we'll get to return all the minerals we got here. See, I made sure they don't actually... There we go, that's the last research. And the rest of you, turn in. And we're getting there in the time. 100 gold away. Or not gold. Minerals. Exciting little troop. Now, what I'd like to do in this mission originally uh, is I tend to go with a group of like vultures and stuff, but they're basically very fragile and they die to most of the well, most of everything. All right, Mira. We both know you're ripping me off, but I'm going to hire you anyway. My forces are yours, Jim. I'm so glad I got to side with you and Matthew. Oh, scheming little I'll show you what happens to double dealing backstabbers. Oh, you will, will you? Suddenly, boom! All of this is mine. Now it's a lot more of an even fight, and we can even send more of our CVs over there to mine once we're done. A little bit of an ambush here coming from behind. Diamondbacks doing the work. This point on, it's cleanup. Beautiful army. Take out the last of uh, his forces, pretty much. Yeah, as we were saying about vulture, like they're they're cool, they're fast, and they're cool, but you know, eh, they're they're fragile. They really only do damage to light units. To go up against any sort of base assault, they basically die pretty quickly. Same sort of problem as diamond back up. They're very specialized units. Oh, do you then? So this is the first nuke we've seen. See if I can keep vision here. Rest in peace, Medic. I thought, thought you were out of range. No, it was this Medic. We're all good. Ah, tanks. These you gotta take out quickly before they finish sieging, or you're screwed. So we're basically just brute forcing our way into his base at now, but that's fine. In fact, we can bring some of our tanks on our own. We're using these for tank defense, but it's fine. Hey, buddies. Yeah. I know you're not imagining it, by the way. Mira clearly has something going on with Matt. Or Matthew, what she says. Spartan coming. We got dust in one and dust in two. We're gonna need more dustins. Oh, I'm in deep! Are you though? So we're gonna go, we're gonna put these siege mode here, below. They can't actually really shoot anything yet. They're shooting the buildings, but... They'll be in a good enough position to shoot up here when they actually get into some line of sight. Line of sight system in StarCraft 2 works a little bit different than StarCraft 1. In StarCraft 1 it was a flat out, if you could shot, shoot and they were like higher up, you had a 70% chance to hit. Uh, in here... You can't shoot at all if they you don't have vision on them. But if you have vision, it's a 100% chance to hit. It's a little bit differently, but it does remove a little bit of randomization, which is usually pretty good. Oh my god, the dude's got a battle cruiser. That's not gonna last long, buddy, but I appreciate your attempts. Down it goes. We've got backup coming, though. The war pigs, the hammer security forces, and... Oh, we lost one of the breakers. This is also basically, the funny thing is that all of these are mercenaries. Pretty much all of their troops are mercenaries. Because that's sort of Mira. She does the whole mercenary thing. Which is cool, because I like the mercenaries. They're a little bit of extra fun there. It gives a little bit of character to units. Characters that, you know, aside from their voice commands. But other than that, it's good. That's a planetary fortress, by the way. Alright, alright, I surrender. I will keep the snake safe and the sound for you. I will even do it for free. 
Mission complete. Cutthroats. That'll give us a cool 120k. The achievements here are kind of interesting. Um, the mine super kind is just fun to do on normal. You run around with spider mines, drop you know vultures and drop some spider mines as much as you can, and they explode. It's fun. Uh, on hard mode though, this is kind of tough. You basically need to not use any of your SCVs, which means one, you need to protect the one you have, and you really need to go around and get a lot of salvage because you can't build a single more. It's cool, and it's an interesting one. Anyway, Morocco. Sir, the decrypted adjutant is back in the lab and ready to go. Well, old girl, we dug you up on Tarsonis. Were you online during the Zerg attack? Do you remember anything about Arcturus Menx being involved? Menx, Arcturus, ex-Confederate officer, civilian prospector, founder and leader of the Sons of Korhal terrorist group. Status, criminal. Accessing intercepted transmission 0081 to 0086 Alpha. This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. Who authorized the use of psi emitters? I did, Lieutenant. What? The Confederates on Antigua were bad enough, but now you're going to use the Zerg against an entire planet? This is insane! She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. Believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. Holy... I can't believe it. We can nail Minx to the wall with this. Yes, we can. Now, we've got three new Protoss research thingamajinks. I can't believe it. That recording proves it's all true. Mengsk, Tarsonis, all of it. What will you do now? Tell the people. Every man, woman, and child in the Dominion needs to know what their beloved Emperor is capable of. The backlash will be awful. There'll be riots and uprisings everywhere. But that's just what you want, isn't it? It's a start. Research. Yeah, baby. Do you see level level 10? I guess we call it level 10. Yeah, I guess so. Current research level 10. And we have a choice between micro filtering, which makes refineries produce recipe gas faster, and also applies to the automated refinery, which you're gonna get eventually. That one. Which is pretty good. This one is instant supply depots. This is just really handy, more so than anything saves a lot of time but in the long run you don't really need it like you put in a SV shift click a couple and you get them in time it this is more for you if you need something desperately right now 25% faster Vespin is ending up being a lot more useful so that's what we're going for done Well, Donny Vermillion and Kate Lockwell, what do you have to say about the new developments in the sector? Emperor, much has been written in regards to the tragic fall of Tarsonis. Tolosky's investigative documentary, Imperial Dawn, even claims that you brought down the Confederate system by assuring Tarsonis' fall. I've heard these conspiracy theories before, but the fact remains. The Zerg invaded Tarsonis en masse, and no force in the universe could have stopped their onslaught. It was a very... terrible day. Tolosky's film highlights the seeming... convenience of the aliens annihilating a corrupt government that you yourself spent a lifetime trying to overthrow. Millions died that day, and you speak to me of convenience? Yes! I strove against the evils of the old confederacy, but never with the object of personal gain. When I was called upon to take up the heavy burden of leadership, I did so only to ensure our continuing survival as a species. Striking words from the Emperor himself. 
Up next, Zerglings allergic to lemon juice, old wives' tale, or new super weapon in the fight for humanity? I vote super weapon. I gotta know. Just what was it went down between you and Mengsk? Seems you boys were tight once. I used to think Mengsk be a force for change. Fought alongside him right up until Tarsonis. That's where he crossed the line. By using Zerg to murder the whole planet. He left Kerrigan there to die because she called him out on it. Turned out he was just as rotten as the Confederacy ever was. Damn. You sure know how to pick your friends, Jimmy. If Mirahan calls, I'm, I'm... I'm just busy. Got him, Matt. Spider-Mine! This is from the old Earth, actually. <laughs> Terran Marines are famously mistrustful of the Spider-Mines' IFF sensors. IFF standing for Identification, Friend or Foe. In 2004 and 99, Tarsonis-based John Pictures released Spider-Mines 4, Death from Below, continuing a franchise about Spider-Mines that had achieved sentience and turned on their human creators. It was the last hollow in the series. Those goofy mercs are still using vultures, can you believe it? Damn things are death traps, even when you ain't got people shooting at you. Careful now, Swan. My old vulture saved my skin more times than I care to remember. I ain't gonna listen to you trash talk a classic piece of engineering like that. Classic? I suppose you can call them that. Of course, most folks like a bike that don't explode on them when the repeller seals freeze up, or the fuel cells start leaking radioactive waste. But hey, who cares if it's a classic, right? <laughs> no one likes a smart ass swan. You just don't appreciate good art, just development with you, Swan. Upgrades. As expected, we have vulture upgrades. We're not really gonna worry about those. Um, this is nice though, replenishing the spider mines for minerals. But, eh, no. Basically what you can do is you get a set of uh, vultures in base and then just keep replenishing them and mine up the entire entrance. It's fun, but not super useful in the long run. Anyway, we were gonna go for some of these, but not yet, because soon we are going to unlock a pretty cool unit, and we're gonna have to make sure we have all the minerals to upgrade that one. Alright.